What is going on everybody, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install effects plugins for your Paint.net program. I've always told you guys that Paint.net is my favorite, it's my main graphics imaging uh, editing software. Um, it's similar to, to Photoshop of course, but it's not as, of, it's not as a robust and advanced as Photoshop, but for the price of completely free, it is an amazing alternative. It has so much potential and it keeps getting updated. Uh, all of the thumbnails and the channel banner and my profile picture of, uh, of my channel, they're all made using Paint.net and I think they look pretty okay so uh, right now. So if you guys like the look of my thumbnails and my banner, um, you guys should really get Paint.net. Uh, you guys have been asking for this tutorial for a while, ever since I did my how to make a YouTube channel banner and that was a few years ago. You guys have been uh, asking me, Justin, can you show me how to install those plugins? Because way back then, um, on my effects tab on paint.net, I had this effects window was super, super long. It was all the way down to the bottom of my screen. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to install paint.net plugins. So the first thing I want to do is go to this website. Um, there's only one website where you should install, where you should install paint.net plugins, and that is the paint official paint.net forum. Do not get plugins from anywhere else because they might they might they might be viruses or something like that. That's what they recommend. So go to this website. It's in the description below, and go to here are all the plugins. So these plugins are individual plugins, but to make things easier for you, you can install plugin packs, which um, install a bunch of plugins in one download. So go to where it says plugin packs right there. And you can choose any one of these plugins. You can even search which type of plugin you want here. But um, a plugin that is really recommended and I recommend that you guys get is this one right here. It's a Bull Baits plugin pack for Paint.net. But this one is it's updated for 2016, and I think it is the it's a really good one. So click on the plugin pack that you want or the plugin that you want. Uh, it is a forum, so you have to find the download button. Um, and you have to okay, so this plugin pack as you can see has three versions of it the version for which type of paint on it You have so if you guys have the latest version of paint on if you're on Windows 8.1 to 10 uh, To check the version just open paint on it and it'll be on the top there as you can see my, my paint on it is 4.0.1 So I have to install this one. It's 4.0.0 to 4.0.5 so all you have to do is if you're on the 4.0.6 or plus just click the download button that is right here where the blue arrows are pointing and then download it wherever you want but since i have 4.0.1 i'm going to install this version of the, the same plugin and press the download button which is right there so now download it to wherever you want i just made a folder and save it so now go to the folder that you just uh made I, it's on my D and Paint on a plugins. It's right here. Bold bait pack. So if you have WinRAR, which I really recommend you install, it's free. It's totally fine. It, it, it's, it's an unzipping program. Just right click and press extract to bold bait. But Windows Windows has a default unzipping feature, so you don't really need to get it. But it's really much easier. So just unzip it. Open the folder. And now, as you can see, you have all these .dll files. This is really easy to install the plugin, the pack. So all you have to do is press con is just select all of them. You can do press Control A on your keyboard, select all of them, and right click and copy it. So now, what you want to do is go to the file directory of your Paint.net. If you're if you left that default, it's in your C Program Files, and Paint.net is right there. So now, all you have to do is go to the Effects folder, and Control V or right click and paste all those DLL files and just press continue if this pops up and check do this for all current items There you go. So basically that's all it is So now once you copy it and paste it all the dot DLL file to the program files paint on it effects just Exit out of that and if you have paint on it open close it and reopen it So now if I go to effects bam, I have so many so much more effects added to my paint.net so that's basically how you do it um thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped you guys and um, this is a great way to um, make life much easier when you're doing your graphics editing thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out guys